Alright, it's me, so lost again, and I'm doing a serial communication tutorial this time. I've had a lot of people ask me about my, on my server, ask me about my new macro, and since most of you guys are from here, this is the voxel mod UI. I get to add all of those buttons and change what they do. Alright, so that's my couple of seconds on how I've got my macros and all of that. I've got macros to keys too, like for my my move, minus S. Anywho, alright, I'm going to start at this end. Move. Serial communications. This is a 16-bit two-way serial communication device. Yes, two-way on a single wire. Alright, now for the serial send. Alright. We have our send button, which is this guy right here, which we'll wait to push. We'll show you a demo of it. Okay. Uh, so after we hit send on here, it goes right down into this mono stable. Alright. This mono stable puts us out a stable to take pulse. So that two tick pulse on a delay of one tick. So one tick later, two ticks later, and boom, we've got our start signal. Okay, who cares about the bus speed at the moment? Okay, but two ticks after we hit start here, the thing's actually starting. One tick after we hit start, we actually have the signal coming in for the actual send start. Okay, so on the delay of two, four, five, six, seven ticks later, we get our first signal into our first piston here. Alright, and you can time this at three ticks per piston in order to get the serial send to go faster. Um, two ticks is a little bit wonky, and yeah, you'd be lucky if you get it to work on one tick. You have to do some, like, really precise stuff and have a really lag-free server. Anywho, I left it at four for, you know, absolute stability, okay? So, every four ticks, we're switching from one bit to the next until it comes down. And we've got this master return line, and that goes to this. RS Norlatch here specifically for that after we hit start, it will send out our start signal, be, you know, begin our sequence. This latch, la uh, latch is on, so then you cannot spam the send button or have some kind of erroneous signal come through in any which way. As soon as you hit start, this thing will lock up and go through one complete sequence and will not stop until it is completely done and then the latch resets. Then you can actually do another send cycle again. Okay, So, we've got two ticks before it gets to the actual send. Okay, And then we've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ticks before the signal actually starts. Okay. So that's a difference of five, five blank ticks is what we'll be going through. But after that, then there's also one, two more ticks that we have to account for. So we'll have seven empty ticks before the first bit is actually coming down the bus. Okay. Now for the receiver, when the signal comes in. We've got one tick here on the receive, two ticks, three, and then it's into this guy. This is just uh, put in here as a, a manual reset. Well, three, and then four ticks, five ticks then the reset occurs. Let's see, do I have this correct? That's one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So it's six ticks after receiving the start signal. Actually, the, uh, does the reset on all of the latches, and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I'll put this manual reset there. So it resets all of these latches conditions as such, and then we've got one tick, two tick, and this latch is our system for uh, can't the the extra data coming in isn't going to trigger several start signals again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ticks later, we turn this guy on. Okay. So that accounts for the seven to to charge up the system and then the eight eight and then nine and then the the bits going down the line okay so there's there's the actual preciseness of the timing between all of it and then we've got as this is uh going through its receive sequence like I said this is two way we've got this set up so that while it's sending that ORS NOR latch also blocks the input to this receive module. So we'll just do a pattern to show you that it'll uh, send through the right way. So every other one, two on, two off. So this is the pattern that we're going to send. And like I said, this is a two-way system, so until it's sent here, it blocks that off. It goes down, sends each of the bits, which goes down our two-way receiver. And look, we've got our checkered pattern back and forth. Two on, two off, one on, one off, two on. And that works, but the signal coming into here isn't going to get through to here and do anything to the actual send unit, so we've got that set. And the send unit shouldn't be active, so now our signal comes through, so then we can receive on here. And then we use these nifty little uh, two-way repeaters that I think I can actually tweak a little bit to get some more stretch out of it, or actually want to switch it to these guys, because... Uh, these are what three tick, one, two tick for pass through, three ticks for the full full lockback. So two ticks for for the pass through, and this guy is uh, one tick on pass through. It's because as soon as the piston goes, pop, you've got you know your signal coming out. Did I put buttons on this? No, I'll put a switch. See, it's pretty much instantaneous. Alright, so that is the serial communication tutorial. Now, some of the extra little features of this, you'll see that I actually use sand and the piston, pistons from below. This is to keep the, uh, the signal from butting the piston and having it lock on. So this is our quote-unquote signal isolation that we use. So, that is that. Now, this wouldn't be, you know, a proper tutorial without showing you all of the serial information that I know. This is, you know, two-way as uh, the culmination of, you know, work. I also had uh, a three-way, or a, uh, a triple receive buffer, so that when you send you can, uh, it'll go into one receive buffer, and then the next time it receives, it'll go into the next buffer. So it'll actually page through an order through three different buffers. So as long as you know you're getting data, you can page through yourself. This is my proof of concept, a little 8-bit one that I did uh, on the floor. I've
kept it, and I have signs on it. So if you visit us here at Stim's Redstone server, you can uh, use uh, slash warp me so lost, and that'll take you to right around over there on this north end of my plot, and then it'll just be off to your right. Don't forget to look above you, and way up in the sky as well, because I've got my multipliers that are way up there. One of them's broken, but the big blue glass one will work, so you guys can poke at that. This is a uh, matrix, so you can take a peek at it to see exactly how I do my uh, decimal multiplication stuff. And back on to the serial stuff because I'm getting off topic. Alright, where to hide it? Right above me. This is a new serial system that I put together. You'll notice the bus on there is actual signal strengthening bus. So, here's a receive unit. Works off all of the same principles except that per four ticks we actually have uh, the signal be eight ticks long. I haven't tested it with anything else. I default built it straight as this, and this is literally my prototype signal strength, tra you know, serial build. Added this little guy here so that while this is on, it you'll have to use this thing, you know, as a switch in order to hold information coming out. Otherwise, if you turn the switch off, there'll be no data. Now, if you go like this then you can actually use the memory cell function on this and go program and poof now it holds the data and if you want to reset all of them you just hit the little reset button and it resets your sending buffer works on the whole same principle except that it uses uh, signal strength data instead of binary data and we've got this I'll let you take a peek here at the bus We've got exactly two comparators between each of the bits out to the actual thing where we've got our the start of our bus that goes over to the receiver. And then we've got our timing hodgepodge here along with our RS nor latch to keep us from spamming it. And this is all compacted even more. I hate people that zoom around all the time in videos, so I'm like stopping and allowing you some some view time. Now I could have used my my more compact one with the two tick program, but this is the uh, the more linear three tick program memory cell. Because of this extra repeater here, which you need on a one signal because it won't reach far enough, we have to have the uh, another tick on write delay, whereas this would be compacted over that way, and the one would directly power that repeater there for the reset having the input block being this one right there I mean I technically could have done that but I wanted the space like I said this is a prototyping build and I didn't have to use you know the most top of the line equipment that I had and go ahead and give you a run on this we'll leave this in memory function and the data we're going to send through try and send a somewhat sawtoothy so you see it does right so we'll do a C actually we'll do switches here just so that you'll be able to see it easier and e even with the uh, stupid little thing with the the thing in memory mode as long as you know uh, you can still use the switches, it's still going to work because it's an auto resetting pass through system. So, yeah. So, go that way, and then we'll send, we'll go drastically low and send a 2, and then we'll come up in the middle and send a 9, and we'll pop down here with a 3. So, that will be the pattern that we should see on the other side and we'll go send here it's starting to send we see it's sending the different data through and yeah I know it, it's backwards but there we go we've got our, our C293 
to show you right there. That's our number nine spot. So C293. A perfect send. And that would be my my tutorial on serial communication. Showing you how we do the receive end over here. We use a half slab to get it up. And because the first signal that we have coming through is definitely going to be strong enough, but this extra little two bits isn't going to matter. But just to make sure, we've got that guy not far off, which sends our start signal on, what is that, the one, two delay. Starts getting our, our receiving bits going, ready, because this guy is set for ultra fast send after you hit that start it's just two ticks later and boom it's sending its stuff so we give it the two ticks of delay there a third tick of delay there and this guy better be ready three ticks later that's how we compacted all of our uh, switching circuitry so before I get a run on too terribly long I know, Gore, you're not going to like being able to see this, but yeah, alright, 60 minutes. That's a good enough serial tutorial. Well, I hope this helps you guys out with uh, any of your serial questions. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to catch me sometime while I'm on uh, STEM server. Alright. Later, guys. Alright.